is the 29th of the 5th, 2012. This is today's climate change update. I'm on my old camera, the Samsung, because Freya decided to eat my JVC camcorder. Uh, I'm going to have to replace that. So uh, bear with me for a few days while we deal with this cheaper camera. Let's go ahead and get started on SOT Detonet today. Second earthquake in 10 days shakes northern Italy, leaving 10 dead. The chaos continues. A new earthquake has struck uh, the northern region of Italy, killing at least 10 people and burying several others under rubble, local media say. All the deaths were uh, in the Medina area. Three were killed in an industrial shed collapsed, and three died in San Felice. Tuesday's tremor estimated 5.8 magnitude hit the same region where the quake 10 days ago killed seven people and destroyed many buildings. Uh, some people fled from the buildings when they felt the tremor, which struck at 9.03 local time. Uh, one has to wonder if the oil and gas drilling in this exact area of Italy, um, the gas drilling had begun late last year, has anything to do with these earthquakes. I wonder. Some big rock and rolling going on in Europe right now. Fukushima radiation found in West Coast Tuna. Now, this is something we've been warning you about for over a year now. Scientists hope to test new samples of Pacific bluefin tuna after low levels of radioactive cesium from Japan's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear accident turned up in fish cut off California in August of 2011. And they're just now coming out with this. Uh, researchers reported on Monday the bluefin spawn off Japan and many migrate across the Pacific Ocean. Tip tissue samples taken from 15 bluefin caught in August, five months after the meltdowns at Fukushima Daiichi, all, contain, all contained reactor byproducts cesium-134 and 137 at the levels that produced radiation about 3% higher than normal background radiation sources, uh, but well below the levels considered dangerous for human consumption. So go ahead and Eat up your tuna, folks. It's safe. This stuff is accumulative. Uh, the point is, is you're eating it over and over again, and the radiation is just increasing in the Pacific Ocean. Chemicals in tsunami debris could pose coastal threat. No kidding. The spill and spread of industrial chemicals across the coastline of British Columbia is a possibility as slower-moving tsunami debris from Japan approaches the west coast according to experts observing its movements. The risk of chemical contamination is sizable, especially considering that many of the tsunami affected areas on the Japanese coast were industrial and used many types of toxic chemicals in manufacturing operations. So it's not just the radiation we got to worry about, it's everything else that they were producing up and down that coast. Uh, you got a big soupy mess going on. 6.7 earthquake in Santiago del Estro, Argentina. Tornadoes cause heavy property damage near Montreal, Canada. Two tornadoes ripped through communities uh, near Montreal Friday night, smashing in roofs, shattering windows, and uprooting trees that lay in their paths. Tornadoes strafe Kansas, damaging homes. One person was hurt. Tornadoes raked Kansas overnight, injuring one person and damaging some homes and businesses. Fourth earthquake rocks East Texas. The fourth earthquake in 16 days hit East Texas early Saturday. No injuries or significant damages reported from the preliminary magnitude 2.5 trembler that hit about 1.30 a.m. And again, with all the fracking and everything else going on, no telling what's going on. Wildfires hit six U.S. states. Small towns have been evacuated. Santa Fe, New Mexico, a wildfire burned out of control for a fourth day in Steep Mountain in southwestern New Mexico on Saturday. One of several blazes that have consumed more than 200 square miles of rugged land in six U.S. states. Efforts to contain the blades spreading sparsely populated areas of Arizona, Colorado, Michigan, Nevada, New Mexico and Utah 
have been hurt by gusting winds and tender dry late spring conditions. Several small towns, including the historic Wild West mining town of Mogollon, now nearly a ghost town, were ordered to evacuate as the spreading fire torched miles of forest, brush, and grass. And uh, it is a definite ongoing situation. Massive sinkhole forms near Central City, Colorado. A uh, massive crater alongside the road in between the cities of Blackhawk and Central City has traffic moving along a bit slower than usual after crews had to close a lane. The sinkhole happened in the end of Gregory Street just east of Central City. The asphalt on the side of the road gave way to a small cavern early Saturday morning. By midday the cavern had turned into a crater and we know how these things work. Over to the extinction protocol there's a couple of stories here. Michigan wildfire torches 100 buildings, only 51% contained. This is the big fire out of Michigan. A wildfire burning across more than 30 square miles of Michigan's Upper Peninsula has destroyed nearly 100 buildings, but there have been no reports of injuries. The fire that began last week has burned 95 structures, with a third of them being homes or cabins. And uh, they are ongoing fighting that fire. Landslides from heavy rains kill eight in Indonesia. After days of heavy rain hit a mountain part of the country's main island, the landslide occurred on Thursday night killed eight people. They were able to retrieve all eight bodies by late Friday night. And more financial stuff, uh, war drums going on. And that's about all I want to cover off of there tonight new. Over to the RSOE, they've got a big list of things to today so I'm just going to go over them real quick. Uh, volcano activity in Colombia. Nevado del Ruz volcano is acting up again. Uh, of course the forest fires. Flooding in Canada, province of Ontario, Thunder Bay region. Uh, Pakistan's reporting heat waves, extreme. Hailstorms in New Zealand, extreme weather there as well. Uh, Flash floodings in Haiti and the Dominican Republic, if they don't have enough problems already, pretty extreme there as well. But you got to remember, Haiti cut down all their trees long ago, and uh, when they get these massive rain um, storms, they get a lot of mudslides and stuff on top of everything else they're dealing with. Uh, and of course, Mexico, Popo Volcano, uh, Mexico City is still active and ongoing. Uh, let's go ahead and just go over to the nuclear stuff, uh, ENI News. Government report urgent that, urgent that effects of radiation on human health be reduced. Expert needs to investigate residents with negative health effects. Fallout is worrying people not only in Japan, but also around the world. No shit, Sherlock. Uh, BBC, public health hazard from fish arriving in California waters, question mark, may be considerably more contaminated than radioactive tunas. All this radioactive waste is pouring into the Pacific Ocean, and it's not like it was just one spill and it stopped. This is ongoing, and it's just getting more and more and more, and it accumulates, so it stacks on top of each other. Insanity. Uh, I would definitely take fish off your menu. Fukushima may show up on your next plate of sushi. The findings should be reassuring to the public. Uh, they're already finding it in the, um, the seaweed, the fish, and the seaweed, um, it's not like just eating sushi where, where if you don't eat seaweed, you don't have to worry about it. It's an emulsifier. They use it in industrial products and a lot of the, as a binding agent for your toothpaste, a lot of food products. And uh, so you got to be careful about what you're eating. Tokyo Professor, I couldn't help feeling pity for the tree. X-ray-like images spread of radioactivity. Equivalent of miscarriages, stillbirth, and malformation. Uh, so the nuclear mutations continue. Fukushima radiation still circling the globe. Levels constantly rise and fall in a 40-day cycle. <sighs> and of course, absolutely every one of the bluefin tuna tested from Southern California was contaminated with Fukushima radiation. Quote, we were definitely surprised to see it all. 
and even more surprised to see it in every one we measured. Uh, well, genius, you knew it was bound to happen. Enjoy while you can, everybody. Thanks.